Oh yeah, that is fast. That's definitely fast. Damn, that thing freaking whips. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. It's E-Rock Rods. And we are a little bit outside of uh, Philadelphia. And we are going to try out the Onyx City 2. The Onyx CTY2 for the first time. I've been eyeing the bike for a while. And this is, uh, we're gonna get some hands on with it. All right, so let's just, let's see the height first. Yeah, over the suspension there. All right, so we're on Eco, right? Your left brake is here. And it has a uh, regen, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I'm just uh, testing out Eco mode right now. Interesting. You feel the regen. It's uh, lower than I imagined. Like I'm like leaning forward, more aggressive stance. Ooh, the uh, the turning radius I'm not used to. It's uh, a little tighter. Okay, so I could flat foot, which is nice. All right. So we're gonna pedal this. No throttle. Maybe the throttle you'll find it. Gives you six miles per hour, you can kind of like 10 12. Oh, I, I see. I gotcha. Alright, so if, if you feather it, it seems like a little bit while you're pedaling, it helps out a bit. We're gonna t turn it into normal mode. Okay, so let's feel normal. Normal. So I'm trying to. And what are the what are the top speeds for each uh, mode? Uh, right now, what are you in? Uh, normal. So that'll be twenty. Twenty. Okay. Twenty two, maybe. Okay. Like, depending on the ground. Okay. Yeah, I could tell the uh, like it's holding back. We're on sport mode. We don't have much room to play with, but I could I could definitely feel the power. Definitely feel the torque. And this this is this is the same size as the shorty, right? Like the same height. Same uh, basically. Shock. Yes. The only difference is when you sit on a shorty, uh -huh. your angle of the seat is slightly different. You okay. slope a little bit down more, whereas this is level. Okay. So you'll feel almost the same standover height, but it's a different feeling underneath you. Okay. Very similar though. Three inches taller on the standard RCR. Yeah, it, it feels nice. It feels durable. Yeah, this is again cable actuated disc. This is your front. That, if it falls on this side, you have to be cautious of that. Okay, the turn signals. We got the horn. We got the high beams. All right, we're on sport. Yeah, I wish I had more room to play, but. I could feel the torque on sport. It doesn't feel as torquey as the uh, RCR, but it definitely still has more power than my X-Class. I don't know, I'm, I'm uh, kind of feeling the CTY. <laughs> There's so many good things about it, man. Yeah. Like, it's future-proof. This is bigger than the RCRs, like... Uh, the width-wise. Yeah. You have a little less to work with on the other bike, like okay. space-wise. Like see, so see how this goes like flat like that? Yeah. It's probably a little bit down, but really what it is is a perfect like upright position. And the riding position is better situated right over the shock. All right, let's try it one more time. Oh yeah, that is fast. That's definitely fast. I can feel it. Yeah, after after riding like a 500 watt bike and then a 750 watt bike and then you come up to this, you, you just feel the difference. Like it's a whole different world. It's different tech. Yeah. This is 150 amps, so that's like five times as capable uh, as like what I think is in most of those bikes. 
then that is a 1500 rated nominal motor. Yeah. I wanted to see how visible they are. The rack, is it compatible? The RCR rack is compatible with this as well? Okay. Yeah, so there are two racks on their website still. 1.5 is the one that you want, and that's the modern, that's the new Okay. One. It's a beautiful bike. It is. Like to have it be that good looking and perform, is the, that's why they're the winner. It's the, not just marketing. The aesthetics and the performance, that's, that's really what drew me in, for yeah. sure. I don't know that there's a better thing out in the market available at that price point. Let's just say it checks all my, my boxes. That's awesome. <laughs>